Hello viewers, so welcome as we work out this maths problem within the shortest time possible. So make sure you watch this video up to the end. We have 16 to the power of x is equals to 72. So solution. So on our solution, so this one is what we have. 16 to the power of x is equals to 72. So we are asked to find the value of x. So the first thing that we need to do, this one is 16 is a base, x is an index number. So it's impossible for us to change 72 to a base of 16 so we need to use the logarithm so we shall have the log of 16 to the power of x is equals to the log of 72 so the log of 16 to the power of x according to the law of indices can also be written as x x log 16 is equals to the log of 72 so from there we shall still have the value of x this side by dividing both sides by the log of the log of 16. This side also by the log of 16. So now the log of 16 and the log of 16 shall cancel. Now our x, now we shall now say that x is equals to the log of 72 all over the log of 16. But now our answer does not stop there. We still have to proceed. Now the log of 72, so x is equals to, the log of 72 can also still be written as the log of, the log of 8 multiplied by, by 9, then into bracket all over the log of, all over the log of 16, all over the log of 16. So our next step now is to express uh, this as, as an index number express 8, 9, and 16 as an index number. For an example, when you have 8, 8 when expressed as an index number, we shall have 2 to the power of 3. Okay? Because 2 times 2 is 4 there. Now, when you have 9, 9 can be expressed as 3 to the power of 2. So, finally, when you have 16, 16 can also be expressed as 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 4 exactly so let us now proceed since we now have the now say now our x is equals to so the log of 8 here we have the log of 2 the log of 2 to the power of 3 so our sign shall change now we shall have plus here then uh, the log of 9 now we shall have the log of 3 to the power of 2. So all over our log 16. So our log 16 now we shall have the log of 2 to the power of, to the power of 4. So we proceed and now saying now that here now our x is equals to so uh, this one here, the log of 2 to the power of 3 can also be written as 3, 3 log, 3 log 2. Then here now plus the log of 3 to the power of 2 can also be written as 2 log, 2 log 3. Okay. Then now we shall now say that all over. So we shall divide each one in independent of each other. So the log of this one can also be written as 4 log 2. So 4 log 2 all over this side is also, t sorry, 4 log 2, 4 log 2. Because we have to divide both sides by the log of 2 to the power of 4. So here now we shall now say that our x now is equals to, this one now is 3 over 4. Then from there, 3 over 4, then the log of 2 and the log of 2 shall cancel each other. Then plus, so this one now shall have 2, 2 over 4. So 2, we can still cancel this, 2 in 2 here once, 2 goes into 4 twice. Then we shall now have a half log, a half log 3 over log over log 2. So let's proceed finally. Then now we shall have. So according to the law of logarithm, we also know that the log A over log B 
can also be written as the log of a to the base of to the base of b so meaning that now our x is equals to 3 over 4 plus 1 over 2 the log of 3 this one base base 2 then now this one now comes our value for our value for x so we can still check and confirm if our answer is really true so we had 16 to the power of we have 16 to the power of x is equals to 72 so meaning that here now we shall have 16 so we shall have 16 to the power of 3 over 4 then plus a half the log of 3 base 2 is equals to 72 so 16 to the power of 3 over 4 so this one to mean that now we shall have 4 the cube root of 4 16 to the power of, to the power of 3 then plus a half the log of 3 to base 2 is equals to 72 so the cube the, sorry, not the cube, but the fourth root of 16, we shall have 2, so 2 to the power of 3. Then here now we shall have, this sign shall change to multiplication, multiplied by a half the log of 3 to base 2 is equals to 72. So 2 to the power of 3 is 2 times 2, now we shall have 8 multiplied by, so this a half, we shall cross, we shall power it here. Now it shall become the square. The log of 2 shall cancel. Now we shall have times 3 squared is equals to 72. Now 8 multiplied by, by 3 squared is 9 is equals to 72. And 8 times 9 is 72 is equals to 72. So it means that our answer was, was very, very correct.